Hi everybody, this is Mr. Wooten hanging out at Camp Chappie. I'm going to talk about my compost today, uh, the benefits of it, and how to set it up, and what you can add to it if you want to. Uh, first off, I've got a sort of sunny spot right now, but you want to pick a shady spot. And I have a couple of bins here of things I'm going to add. Um, I have some leftover food scraps from home I bring up here. I also have some dry leaves. Uh, you want to be adding some greens, some browns, and if you want to add some eggshells, you can do that too. You don't want to add meat or cheese or bread, things that are going to attract rodents or spoil and cause bad smells. First, I'm going to dig out a spot to add my thing. And I'm gonna add it a little bit at a time of each variety. So I have some vegetables there. I have some browns there. And then I'm gonna stir that up. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more. And stir that up as well. Now it might not look like these things gonna break down right away, but it usually takes about two months for them to totally decompose into becoming compost. So just give it time. Something I'm also going to want to add to it is going to be some water because it's exothermic. It's going to be giving off heat uh, to help break down those nutrients. It doesn't take much to make a compost pile. This one's just made of a couple pieces of two by fours and some metal screen. The one I have at home is made of cinder blocks, uh, pretty much, or you don't need any of that. You can just make a pile itself, making sure to turn it every two days. So I just take a shovel and just flip it over, okay? And when I do that, I also like to water it to keep it moist, okay? Also, I'd like to point out, you can see that the compost pile that we here have here, we have two different sides. So the side on the right is where we're adding compost right now. We're gonna let that break down over time. In the few weeks to come, we're gonna be adding things on the left side so that we give the time to the pile on the right to break down all the way. Compost helps feed your plants or your soil over time. It doesn't release the nutrients right away. Where fertilizer has the nutrients readily available, so compost is better because it feeds them over a long period of time. Now, if we didn't add or put these items into the compost, where would they go? They'd go into a trash can. The trash can would then go to a landfill, and we don't want to just take up space in our landfills with things that we can reuse, like the nutrients from these leftover food scraps. Um, it helps reduce methane gas because when those things go into the landfill they produce methane gas. Now when the compost is fully decomposed you won't see any more plant material left in it. It will be dark, rich, full of nutrients and you'll just take shovels of it and put it next to your plants and be able to produce lots of great vegetables. As you can see here at camp we've grown some squash, some bell peppers, tomatoes, and some jalapenos and banana peppers as well. And there's a serrano in there too if you're extra spicy today. So, um, so yeah, here's from Camp Cappy. Hope you guys enjoy the video and maybe make a compost pile at home if you don't already have one.